Hello Palpation Nation and welcome to the vlog. I've been having some memory card issues with this so if this is the first clip that I actually got saved, welcome to the Calgary Stampede Cattle Trail and Ashley and I have been here all day answering questions about beef cattle health and beef cattle production in general. Now, got about an hour left. Pretty quick here, Ashley and I are going to do a live calving demonstration. Well, the cow's not live, I'm live. But we're gonna calve out Lucy and get Louie and Ash is gonna help me. Exactly. This is like the literal start of this vlog because I could not get my memory card to work. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Palpation. It was a lot of trust with a lot of lube going on. Um, and of that 5-10% of the time, about 50% of the time, they're in that normal presentation and it could just be a form of shoulder and hip loss. The other 50% of the time could be one of those forms of mouth presentation. Ashley here. So we're right now at the cattle trail. We're doing a demonstration. So right now the calf is um, is in a head back position uh, as a mal presentation. So Cody, we've got the top off on Lucy that you can see, and so uh, Cody's just going to be correcting that mal presentation. We've got a group of people that are joining us all around, and uh, and Cody is going to be correcting that mal presentation and then pulling the calf out the back. Calving yeah. Demonstration. Watch. We got Lucy the cow here. She is a cow simulator. She is anatomically correct with all the right parts. We got her baby calf. What is it, Lily? The baby calf Lou is stuck inside and we gotta figure out what's going on. Now, in, in the beef industry, we work really hard with things like genetics and selecting for bulls and cows that can have good calving needs, meaning that we don't have to intervene. Smaller birth weights, easier calving cows. Basically, the calf is coming in a normal position, which is, think of it as a swimming uh, diver who's got the arms straight out. So the calf's front legs are straight out. And that's, we'll do a, a surgical scrub, so we'll get everything cleaned up, and then I scrub up and glove up, and then I'm ready to go. So I feel two legs, and I do see 
you can see I get pretty armpit deep pretty quick. Cows are big, my arms are short. So I feel two front legs, okay. So I know the calf is coming in normal forward position, but I just can't feel that head, so I have to determine what's going on here. The calf feels quite large. So I'm feeling along the top of the legs to the chest. Now I think I feel the neck. Yep, no, nope, that's the neck. And now I feel the head. And I need to get that head in position. So the head's actually turned back. It's looking backwards. There's no way for that calf to come on forward. And I'll just pop him forward into the pelvis. Okay, good. I think the head's in normal position. Now what I do is I grab onto those front legs and I start engaging them into the birth canal. Now the next most important step is to make sure those legs are fully extended. That calf will not come out if its arms or its legs are like this. I need now I gave her that epidural and she, it, she's kind of stopped pushing on me. She's not really pushing very hard anymore. So I think I'm going to have to assist her a little more. That calf is pretty big and she's just not pushing. She's getting a little bit tired. And we put this on in a very special way, which we do not want to hurt this calf, so we put it in a very special way. If I try to pull this, I'm just going to slip. It's a very slippery procedure. So we have these handles, they're just regular metal handles, just to give me a bit of a handhold. Now what I'm going to do is, I said she wasn't pushing much, but she's still pushing a little bit. So I'm going to wait for her to give me a nice uterine contraction. And then once she does, I'm going to give her a little pull, and she stops. I'm just going to wait. The calf, I assess the calf is perfectly fine. Uh, there's no problem with that calf. We can wait here. I'm going to give another little push here. Oh, I can't get it out. I'm going to need another set of hands here. So very commonly, I can't provide uh, enough force just myself. And at this time, I'm usually pretty tired getting that head back. So often I'll get my vet tech, lovely vet tech Ashley, to help me out, or the farmer as well. So we wait for a push. Okay, we got you. We got the calf out. So this is a very critical point here. So this calf's chest can't inflate yet. It can't breathe, and the umbilical cord is still attached. So that calf is still oxygenated. So this calf can stay in this position perfectly fine. But if we pull a little bit more, then the hips engage into the pelvis, the calf's hips engage into the pelvis, and that, that stops the, the blood flow in that umbilical cord. And at that point, that's when it's go time. We need to get that calf out. We give another little pull as she pushes, and you can see we're kind of going a little bit low. Oh, that calf's out! So we get that calf in the calf recovery position. So that's laying on his sternum, on his chest. We provide lots of stimulation, we're rubbing him, we're trying to mimic that mom, what that mom does uh, is licking that calf, and looks like he's doing just fine. Uh, in a normal calf, at this point, within a couple of minutes, his head's going to be up, he's going to be in normal position, mom is doing just fine, he's going to be looking around, everything's going to be perfect. But we always say we have to go back in to check for pairs and, and tears. So I go back in and I do an assessment of that cow. You always make sure that there's not a set of twins in there. And the tear part is making sure that there's no problems with your uterus. We did have, have to do a force extraction, so we're making sure that there's no uterine tears. Oh! <laughs> Some bit me. I think I'm gonna need the calf jack to get that one out. <laughs> All finished at the Stampede, heading home ever since birthday. Uh, yeah, overall it was a great day. Lots of questions. Whirlwind of people coming through. Like it. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be eating cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Emerson. Happy birthday to you. Isn't it, don't I blow them out? <laughs> um, you can do the real one. Oh, that's very kind. You can just do them. Yay! Yay! Is it the...
Stay out of my gas hole. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>